Hey guys, what's up? It's Jim here, and today I have the LEGO Glock 18 version 4. <laughs> I've made this gun way too many times, but that's because I can never get happy with it, and I think this is the final version that I'm actually going to be happy with. Um, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is it. Um, I think it turned out really, really, really well. Um, I have this new grip design that you saw on my Deagle. Um, if you didn't see that, then go ahead and check that out on my channel. Um, so, this grip is different in a bunch of ways from my standard ones. Um, with the fact that, like, this is made really interestingly. So, anyways, let's just go over the gun. Grip, obviously. Um, pretty small grip, but I made it kind of oversized. Um, so, it's... The grip fits pretty well for me, but it could be bigger uh, if it would be like an actual like Glock, like a Glock 17 or something like that. Uh, here we have the magazine. Uh, so for the magazine release, um, the plate down there. Uh, here's the grip. Uh, I have these just so that the magazine will not wobble when it's in the grip. So you can press the mag release and then. It automatically drops out. Really like this um, design. I would have put it on my Deagle because, uh, like, when I had the Deagle, I started working on the Glock. So I basically had the Glock and the Deagle, but then I wanted to make something else, and then I destroyed the Deagle. And yeah. But anyways, um, I wanted to incorporate the mag release on that too. But the next pistol, I just gave it away. <laughs> I'm gonna make another pistol next, uh, a pistol and a rifle. Um, first, I'm gonna make them separately, not together, of course. Um, but yeah. Anyways, the Golnock in CSGO is probably one of the strongest uh, starting pistols, in my opinion, because you can one-tap with it. If, Of course, if you hit in the head, then you can one-tap. I do it quite a bit. Um, I do get reported for that, but, you know, it's just bad people, I guess. Um, but anyways, uh, doesn't deal a lot of damage otherwise from the pistol rounds, so yeah, don't use it if, uh, if you're not good with, uh, pistols, then you can just buy yourself a P250 and you're gonna have to save a little bit more. Um, but yeah, we have the slide, uh, which does go back six studs, which is a lot farther than my last one, but... release. Really, really strong uh, rubber band on this. You can see like where it is. It's like a double rubber band that goes from there to there. And I did have to stretch it out. I actually left this like this for 24 hours. Just so that it would be as loose as it is now and it's still really snappy. Uh, here are the gunning rod and barrel. Uh, sights. Really simple sights. Uh, the shell injection port, which is interesting because breaking apart a little bit. Flaws with pistols, they break quite easily. You can actually look through the magwell, which I find really cool. Um, I've never done that before. Show that this isn't edited. Not that I would be smart enough to know how to do that. Uh, there's the trigger, uh, slide lock. Right there. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> to be honest, there's not a lot to this since it is just a Glock. <clears throat> I decided to make no um, skin with this because I wanted to have like no skin, no studs on top um, or studs visible in general. But of course, I had to have a grip, make it comfortable. But yeah. Um, Absolutely no studs showing on top except for the sights. That I had to make this way because I would not be able to fit jumper plates um, and just have a little post in the middle. That would not work, so I had to do this. But it, will, it is worth it and it does look really good. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, um, if you guys really want me to do a little run through tutorial of this Glock uh, as I did with 
the last one that I made, then just go ahead and leave it in the comments. Uh, just kidding, I'm not going to do that. Um, because this script design is really interesting and I kind of want to like experiment with it and use it a little bit on my own before I do give you guys um, the access to it immediately. I may give some, some others that I know access to it, but that's just for credit reasons and yeah, me trying to keep my designs kind of for myself and people that I trust. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you're new to my channel, then please subscribe. If you're not going to subscribe, then hey, at least you watched the video, which I'm pretty happy with. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys. Goodbye. Guess it's still your thought.